So the final aspect of this presentation is to um, is to show you how to apply for the non-profit package. So I'm going to share my screen again. So when you scroll down to the footer, you should see you can apply for the the design tool made with non-profit in mind. It's got very easy ways to create high impact social media graphics and marketing material. Register now to get Canva new features for free. So you, know, you apply by providing your information um, and all that. And what you intend to use Canva for in your organization. But you have to check the eligibility. So you check, well, okay, this organization don't qualify. So one, your organization must be registered and then social impact organization with a mission consistent with public benefit and then public health organization and government entities assisting with public health. So the required documentation, depending on your country, you select and then you choose the mission. So let's say in the United States, let's say in other countries, let's say let's say in another country, and then you find all the requirements and to social and community benefits. Um, so then you can now, if you meet the criteria, then you can apply. So you get verified now, then you fill in the information. That's if you have the information they require, you can just get verified now. So they will give you feedback via your email address, and um, you will be given the premium version. So today has been a successful presentation, and then I'm going to review, I'm going to do a summary of what we, what we did today. So today we did an introduction to um, graphic designing. We were able to create a set of designs, um, create a social media post for Facebook, which was this. We also created um, branding. That's we created a, a logo and then a business card. We learned how to, we learned how to resize images, Canva, colors. Yeah. So that was it for today. There was a bit of distraction in I didn't even know when I was connected. I was still talking. I didn't know. So that is it for today's session. So today's event is technically about graphic design for nonprofits. So um, the focus is to help create your own design. I don't know whether um, you already have a nonprofit or yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, this whole presentation is just to show you how you can create your own design without necessarily requiring the aid of your graphic designer. Sure. Or yeah, by the end of this presentation, you should be able to have the basics of basics of graphic design, get to know certain templates and inside Canva, which I'll introduce to you, that you can use to create your own design. We also learn how to get a license because now it's a paid. We have the free the free version and then for you to use premium features, you would have to pay for it. So subscribe to it. But non profit <clears throat> Sorry, just so you know I do have a pro account. I didn't quite hear you. Sorry, uh, just so you know, I do have a pro account. Okay, for your non-profit. Correct. Great. So that's interesting. So let's just get started. So I'll then basically going to focus on, on the design. You've done some work in Canva already, right? I'm sorry, say that again. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do a general presentation. Okay. Right. Sure. Great. Great. So this is my account. If, for instance, when you want to create a design, I believe you already have some knowledge in it. Since the session has been recorded, I'll just take it from um, basics. Okay. So that um, those who watch the video later on might understand. Uh, so I'm going to take it from basics. To start off, graphic designing is basically an art of creating um, illustrations. We see a lot of designs on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, and these designs are created with certain softwares. One of which is Canva, we have Photoshop, we have Adobe Illustrator. So you can create a lot of artworks with the Adobe suits. We have Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, Adobe Experience. Yeah. Then, but this, some of these tools are quite technical. So for a non-profit, you might need the help of a graphic designer to use this 
Canva it's one tool which is online and then you can have the desktop version what which, which you can use on your system. So with Canva, you'll be able to create the same artworks that your graphic designer creates in the sense that you don't have to basically start from scratch. You can just um, get certain templates and edits that meet what you want to do. So um, we're going to take a case study. Say today is um, Friday and you want to create a quote because as a non-profit, you, you obviously have a social media plan or if you have a social media marketer who is managing your non-profit social media presence, you normally present to you um, a calendar of things you post online and on which channels. So maybe on Mondays, there are certain things that he sends online on concerning your non-profit um, on Tuesday. So every month, they, as a social media marketer, they create calendars on things they want to post on behalf of your organization. And maybe on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, mostly. Some of this design, you can do them yourself. I'll just take you through the, inter take, um, you through the interface. There are templates for social media, stories, posts, Facebook posts, Facebook covers, YouTube channel ads, LinkedIn banners. So many, if you want to change your LinkedIn banner, it's not rocket science. You can just go through a list of templates and look at what works for you and then edit. And then you can create imitation cards for your events, um, create t-shirt design to, to send out to prints. You can create your best own business card. You can create certificates for people who participate in for your volunteers or yeah. So all those things you can technically do them yourself. You don't need the help of um, a social media marketer. So also, so that's the, for the basics of graphic designing. So the next thing is to introduce you to certain templates and then format. So let's look at, for instance, I want to create an, an Instagram post. So I select the Instagram post option, a wide range of templates that I can choose from. And also there's a search bar that you can actually search for um, ideas. So let's see, doing something for a nonprofit. Let's see what um, comes up. So it already gives you options that non-profit Facebook stories, non-profit Instagram real videos. So a lot of creatives out there create designs on Canva and make them public. So you as a non-profit can just use the same thing without having to start basic from scratch. So there are a lot of um, designs in here that I can just scroll through and select one. So there are so many designs out there. Okay, let's just do something for Friday. So let's say on Friday, our that tells us that we need to post a quote from some, maybe someone or what, what about maybe. So let's see. So when you click on this, it, it allows you to customize this template. Okay, so you notice that this particular design that we have here has a video in the background with um, pages. So every design is a page. So it's looping through the pages as the video plays. Over here, you can, you don't have to do much work. You just have to edit. So um, you're allowed to use the same design. So um, maybe probably change the color. So I'm gonna show you how to change colors, how to change logos, how to change text, and how to upload images or content from your computer or on the internet. Say I want to change this logo and use my organization logo. So I will have to go through. So when I go to upload, I will be able to upload this and a media file from my computer. Or yeah. Or if I want to, we have a very nice resource called um, Pixel and on Splash where you can get royalty free images. So on Splash and then Pixels. So on this two website, you can have access to reality free images that you can use um, for your designs. So you just download some of these images and then use them in your designs. Okay, so let me use on splash. So you can search for photos and videos. So I'm gonna search for images about non-profit. To get the best results when doing Google search or doing um, a search for particular images, you have to be a bit descriptive. I think I would 
show that as well. Um, so you, you notice that the lot non-profit images in here that people have uploaded that you can actually use based on what you are doing. But you can actually get specific images. So you have to be a bit descriptive about the image. So um, every image has um, a descriptive name. So to have best result in Google search, you have to use descriptive name. So let's say um, um, you're looking for a, a, a child sitting down. So you have to set, use that description instead of just using children. Children will give you a lot of search results, but using a descriptive name specifies what exactly you're looking for. So if I'm to select, let me just go through and select something different. Okay, let's try and use this guy. So if you look to, into the URL, the, the Slack, which is the name of the, the image that shows in the browser, is man loves people woman. So it describes what the, the image is actually about. So when doing searches, you have to use this theme to get exact results. Yeah. You just have to download it for free. You can actually credit the photographer who uploaded the picture. So you can actually copy this text and add it to your design so that you know, okay, this image was from this particular guy, just to credit the photographer. So I save this image. So I can go back to my design now. So my image, I wait for my image to upload and then I use it. So let's say I want to change the logo, replace the logo as well. The logo is an image and a text. So I'll, I'll probably want to replace the Im image and then the text with my organization name. So I would have to, so as and when you, you have pages, they remain in your um, upload folder so you can reuse them. So um, the first thing you have to do, which um, I should have indicated earlier on was to create an account. Start by creating a free account and for the profits. Uh, so which, are, which will be the last thing you're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, apply for the non-profits so they can have access to the premium subscription. So I'm looking for a logo, which I've already uploaded. Um, you notice that I have a lot of images in here, the images I've used for designs in the past. Okay, so this is organizations emails when I can either drag it onto the design or just click on it and it to place it on the design, place it on the design, then I can resize it by mouse and dragging. So now my logo size I want to place this you want to I can actually drag this image here and then um, increase readable. I'm working online so it's you notice that it's a, you can also get the desktop app to you, which is, so I'm gonna change the name to my organization name. So when you select the text, you can now um, reduce the font size. So um, reduce the font size by minus or plus to increase it, or minus to reduce it. You can also directly specify a specific size of font. So for instance, let's say you are creating an artwork for a magazine. So do your um videos and magazines and newsletters in there. So with that one, um, the print specifies I want to use 14. So I want my print um to display that font as 14. So we don't have to probably type in the exact font that you want. So let's and then so there we are. Then um, you notice that there is this option will take the text, and then the plus option one allows you to click and then drag it around. Now I have my image and then a text, just align it, and then um, this is code of the week. So today's Friday, code of the week. Maybe I want to add some hashtags at the bottom of the first page. Um, when you come to you, the left side, um, the left over, you notice that we have text, we have style, we have images, we have logos. So you can actually use existing logos. We have elements. So elements are like squares, rectangles, ellipses, and all that. So maybe you want to use something like that on your design. And one creative way to create design is to 
look at what people have done and duplicate it. So I can actually go on Google and look for a design and try to create that same design in Canva. That kind of like helps your creative process. So uh, maybe I want to use a rectangle, whatever you want to use, you can look through these and then pick what you want. Now you can go to the next page, say I want to change, so is the video. So the video had been embedded in the first page is this. So this is what we want. Probably you might want to change this to an image. So when you select it, when you select a file, select it and it select the, I think I call this green or yeah, this selected. Then the same applies to this. Let's say I want to actually um, delete this and replace that image. So it's gone off. So once it's gone off, you can now go to your uploads. Uh, you notice we uploaded an image. Um, you can actually search for images directly in here without using these two tools, which is the Unsplash and then Pixel. So I can actually search for images directly in there and I'll get options. So let's see. So you notice I used a name. So I got exactly what I wanted. I wanted a picture of a child in a classroom. So I've been able to get, um, so that's really how you get better results from Google searches. Uh, I now get a lot of images of children in classroom, in a classroom. I use any of this design. You notice that uh, the images are indicated that they are pro, uh, meaning using the free license, you, um, you can be able to use it. There are ways you can be able to use it, but in you shouldn't do that. It should, it's easy to get the pro version, which once your injury is registered in your country and you are so technically um i can use any of these images but i want to use the image that we have so which comes in my upload so you see the image that i uploaded here is here so if i want to place it inside where of the video i would have to drag it in so i drag it in it automatically position inside now that it's dragged into it I can double click on it and then position the image too. So when I double click on it, I can now position the image. Uh, maybe I want, depending on whose face I want to show, to reposition the image or how I want to align the image. So I want it this way because probably because my focus is the phone. Yeah, so I now have that. So now let's see, I want to change the code, you can edit the text, you can edit the author of the code, and then, so you can make so many changes. The next is how to change. So maybe I want to change this to a different color. As you see, when you come to the, uh, this section, edit the color and change it to a different color. So whenever you upload an image on count design, uh, um, Canva automatically picks the colors inside that image. Yeah, so when I added the logo, it picked the colors inside my logo. So you notice that there is white, there is here, there is this shapes of colors of gold. I want to use those colors in my design, I can use them. Let's see, I want to make the background to this. Yeah, I want to change the background to that and then change the text to my brand color. So, so when I select the text, uh, select the text color, I can select any of my brand colors, which is these two colors. I want to use this. So now I've changed the text to my brand color. Uh, I can save this um, items individually, or I can save them as a PDF. I can still save them uh, um, as a video. I can save them as a zip file containing different image pages. So, so these are so many pages. Uh, if you don't need certain pages, you can actually decide to delete the page by clicking on this and then it's gone. So yeah. there we are. That's it. So when you click on it, you can, so yeah. So since my brand color, so I can now save this. So when you click on the share button, you notice that this video is 16 seconds. The video is 16 seconds. So, so I might, 
see how my design will now save this. It allows you to save it. So now I can download onto my device directly to Facebook. When you're using the pro version, you can also schedule this to post on your social media page at a particular time. You can share on a Facebook group. Uh, another thing about um, Canva is that you can collaborate and work. So maybe you want someone to see your design and make some changes before it actually goes out there. You can actually add the person, the person sees the design, the person makes additions. And when the person is editing, you can actually uh, see it, the edit live. So when the person is working, you can see the person working on your design. Uh, so that's one thing about, see, I want to add someone. I would have to just look for the person's name. Uh, add, ask, look for the person's name. And then add a, a, an option, optional message. Who knows what, why um, my documents to download it. Like I said, you can download it as a video, as a PDF, or as images. So I can change the file format. You're allowed to save it as an MP file, as a PDF, and as a PDF print format, uh, as SVG, which is a feature for the pro version, then you can make it a GIF as well. So yeah, so that's how, so let's say I wanna save this video. I wanna save it as a video. So I download it. And it, um, send it to a friend without having them collaborate on the design. So that's sharing the link. So I download this as a video. So when I click on download, it save the video. So I wait for it to download. So you, when you copy this link and share with anyone else, the person doesn't have to sign in to come back to view your video. Yeah. So you can copy this link and share it. Yeah. So the next thing we are doing be, so technically what we just did was um, admitting your design as, that's adding video to your design. So uh, this comes up and I've seen. So the next thing is, like I said, I'm going to do the tick the handle the how to get camera for nonprofits as the last thing. So we just jump straight to branding. So uh, for instance, let's see your organization doesn't have a logo, a business card. You can actually do all those things in Canva. You don't have to pay. Let's just handle that next. So I come back to, I can easily come back home. So technically this is my playground um, where I create my designs. So uh, when it comes to branding, we have, we need a logo, um, business, business, yes, designs, letterhead. Yeah. So let's try and create something. So like I, like I said, uh, when you come to the template, you can still start with a template. Okay. I think actually, so let's true. So let's see logo. So we need a logo, we need a business card, we need a letterhead. Uh, a lot of designs you can actually use. So um, looking straight up, I think something like this work on profit, um, depending on, on, so when it comes to logo design, which um, uh, didn't take too much time to talk about. So you have to know what your brand is about, um, your vision, your mission, and then because, so technically all this you can do without requiring to uh, okay so when you select this it gives you option to change certain things like color text so let's see i'm redesigning my logo and then this is an image i have seen something i want to recreate okay so i'm going to show you another thing icons and stuff so, so this website you can get a lot of uh, artworks to use inside design. So you just have to search for what you're looking for. So let's say I'm into system education. So over here, if you are signed in, you can actually do what I want in with my account before downloading it. So I can get as a PNG by clicking on this and determine the size I want to use. 
if you want it, it's five four pixels. I want two five six, I want two one two eight, I want sixty four, I want to so I want one five hundred and twenty. Same as the you can decide to credit. So say attribution is required. So when you click to, you have to attribute who where you download the design form, which is so I put this to download so that we can use on our design. So I download it. Resize it now. I were using the, if I were using the pool version, I can actually be able to change the colors inside here. But if you are using the free version, you could have changed the colors here to um, log in to, to do editing on your design. Only available to registered users. So you have to log in and register for our brand. We can now um, create a letterhead as well for our organization. I can actually go back home. You don't always have to go back home here and go to access template and edit them. After I'm done with the, okay, we have uh, less than 30 minutes. So let's see, I'm trying to this. You don't always have to use, if you know the size of what you're trying to, you are good to go. You don't have to use it as a, um, a template. So you can uh, a blank business card just to get a size of the business card and then I create my design. I see something that works for my organization and I edit with my information and I'm good to go. Business cards that we could use. So we just have to select one and then edit it. Select something simple so that I have to do a little search. So you can actually browse through and see a design that actually um, appeals to you. Let's say I want to use this guy. I just click on it and it's put it in my so maybe you want to change the size of the yeah. use the regular some place of the quality for this design has so much in common with the design we have. So you have to just change this color. And then that's all. And then change in details, the information details. And that's what you need. So whenever you want to create something, you actually can paste the content yeah. and then download and then print it out. That's easy. I prefer this side, the color of my brand, which is this. And then because of, and then you might want to change the phone number an email address here and that's all oh. you have your letterhead when you come here you can be able to resize this design that's when you are using the provision which um, i'll be moving to yeah. that. and remove backgrounds of email when you're using the provision 